folks, it's Brian from Tactical Response, and I got me a new Galco Miami Classic 2 shoulder holster. And uh, sorry, uh, it's a Glock 19, uh, no Bren 10. But uh, uh, so uh, I'm sure you guys know, we tell our students that uh, the best way to carry a pistol uh, is going to be in a belt holster uh, inside the waistband, usually uh, strong side uh, or appendix. However, um, that is best in almost every situation, uh, almost. Um, so why the shoulder holster? So shoulder holsters shine uh, in certain roles like uh, in a vehicle, because uh, you're already sitting down, you got your seatbelt on. So it's you can get to it like this, as opposed to taking your seatbelt off, ripping that off, potentially clearing a covered garment, busting that gun out. Uh, so it might be faster or easier uh, if you're seated in a vehicle to draw from a shoulder holster. Um, another one, uh, a situation where you can't wear a belt. You just can't get away with it for whatever reason. Uh, this lets you have a gun still on you, uh, ready to fight with. And uh, lastly, uh, you could potentially store a backup gun. Um, probably not going to go with the Glock 19 uh, as a backup gun in a shoulder holster, um, maybe something a little bit smaller for uh, better concealment, but uh, nonetheless, uh, it could work in that role. Um, so why did I buy a shoulder holster? Uh, well, uh, pretty much just for around the house. Like uh, we tell you, uh, wear your gun all the time. And, uh, but people, like, as soon as you walk into the door at your house, you're like, man, I would like to take off all this heavy stuff that I've been wearing all day. Uh, you might change into pajamas or some kind of shorts, uh, yoga britches, whatever you're putting on. Um, and so what I'll do is, if I'm taking my belt off, I can just slide the shoulder holster on and uh, walk around the house with it. And uh, if somebody knocks on the door i gotta go outside mow the grass whatever i'll just uh, you can just throw a uh, a button-up shirt over on top of this um and go about your business if you gotta answer the door or whatever uh so the way i have this set up is basically uh so uh carry around the house rig or a bump in the night rig i'll set this thing uh by the bed so i got a lock 19 i got two spare magazines also uh i'll hang my flashlight off this little hole right here uh, it was designed uh, for an optional piece that kind of snaps on here and it'll um, attach to your belt to maybe keep it from swaying or something to make it a little more stable uh, but uh, my intent is you know uh, at the root of it to not wear a belt in the first place that's why I got this thing on so uh, I got my flashlight I also got uh, two tourniquets right here uh, TK4 tourniquets. Uh, you'll probably have to find something else um, unless you already got some of these because they don't make them anymore. But I just have these uh, attached to the straps on the shoulder holster with um, some Velcro cable ties. So um, if I if I wake up and I gotta you know get to fighting or get to uh, defending real quick. Um, don't even have to have pants on uh you know some people don't sleep without any <laughs> don't sleep with any clothes on you know so uh you could throw this thing on and uh get to business without having to uh gather all kinds of stuff up or you know worry about putting pants on or whatever uh so i'll be uh, i'll be doing some more videos about this we'll uh we'll go shoot it and do some drills and things like that but uh, just thought i'd uh throw out my uh my use for it here and um, I think that covers it so your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends